If you need information on a subject, the first place people tend to go is Google or Wikipedia. And for good reason. They're very helpful sites. But it can also be frustrating trying to find specifics. Often there's just too many returns in a Google search to make use of the information. So let's say you wanted to start a new business and you're preparing a business plan. You need information about your target market, the competitive landscape, the business trends in that industry. Well, you could use Google, but then again, there's a slim chance that you're actually going to find the specific information you're looking for. Instead of using a search engine, why not consider your local library? And you don't actually have to go in there in person. They've got a vast amount of electronic information available to you right from your desktop. And all you need to access it is your library card. Let me show you. My library is the Fraser Valley Regional Library, and it's typical of most libraries in Canada. Right here in the online resources area, I'll find a link to different licensed databases. Now, these are databases that the library licenses on our behalf, meaning we can gain access to them through our library account. So I'm going to go into the online resources here, and you can take a look at the broad spectrum of different databases that they access. This one here, EBSCO Host, has some of the business documents that I'm going to be looking for, as well as a wide variety of other databases, including an auto repair reference center. That could be useful. But if we go down to the Business Source Premier, we're going to find here the full text of over 8,800 periodicals and trade publications. And these are great publications like Harvard Business Review, Advertising Age, Business Week. They're all here along with many specialty publications. So if I'm, say, opening a coffee shop, I want to channel the inner barista in me, I do a search on keywords and I get back to begin with around 800 hits of search results. That's too many for me, so I want to narrow it down. And if I look in this filter area here, I can filter by academic journals, industry profiles. I'm going to choose trade publications and now my search gets narrowed down to about 500. Once you've narrowed your search down far enough, you can start to take a look at the titles that you've come up with of the different articles. And you see here that they're either full HTML text, so those are web pages, and some of them are PDF documents that might be scanned in. So those could be full magazine articles with accompanying photos, that kind of stuff. Once you find one that you're interested in, say the Relentless Coffee Chains March On, you click on that and you come up with an executive summary of that particular article, who the author is and their bona fides. This author has got good credentials, the head of retail at KPMG, and you also have an abstract on what the article is. Read through the abstract. If you want more information, you can take a look at the whole document. If you want to continue your search, you can just click on Find More Like This, and you will narrow your search even farther. And the key here is this information is completely vetted. Unlike doing a regular search on the Internet, where you're going to find a lot of urban myth mixed with a lot of fact, this is all solid data. It's a great research tool. Best part is, it's available to you anywhere you have Internet access. Well, maybe the best part is actually that it's a free as a part of your library subscription. But finding specific information like this from a straight web search would have been very difficult. And there is one extra resource that I do need to show you. Librarians love to help, and they often have ideas on how to find even more valuable information nuggets. If you go back to the home page and just click on Ask a Librarian, you can submit a query to them, and I guarantee you're going to be thrilled with the response. There's something for everyone here. And you never have to worry about returning that book on time. And speaking of time, we have run out of it for today. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Dotto Tech.